Hey all YouTubers, this is Jacques Games from The Moving Icon, and I am here with JP. We are gonna do a photo shoot with Celeste. It's the jewelry stuff. JP, trust me, he is definitely my superior when it comes to photo, but he's actually my assistant today. <laughs> Yay! So JP is gonna just make sure everything's in the right spot, yeah. and we're gonna do a cool photo shoot, and stay tuned and enjoy. Thanks. Right now JP is trying to get the light good for a sort of a jewelry type feel, so we're doing tests on our client. <laughs> okay, look straight in the, she's sideways at Nancy, there we go. Yeah, we gotta get those eyes too. See, just that shot like I know. that. Where she's just sort of. Tout est correct, tout le monde. Wardrobe, bra, brassiere, everything. C'est bon? Okay, give me a second. I'm just going to do a little bit of adjustment. Yes! Give me a second. Do a focus here. Full focus. Good. Okay, look towards the camera. Look forward, right straight in the camera. Yes. Love it. I really do like that. Yes, nice. Nice. Very nice. Those are natural lashes. That looks like hair, so it doesn't count. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't count. I love it. I love the accent. <laughs> Lens, okay. yes. Yes, I'm loving it. Okay, cool. Now we need to do something with the hands. Hello YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines from The Moving Icon. I hope you enjoyed uh, the video you just saw and about that photo shoot. Uh, I had really enjoyed myself and had a lot of fun on it. Uh, there's just a couple of points I'd like to mention. Um, uh, I, I don't know if you know, but I'm a big fan of the Sigma Art 50mm 1.4. And uh, on this photo shoot, I use this thing exclusively. And I loved every bit of it, and I keep on loving it each time I use it. I just want to send a shout out to Sigma for just such a great job on a great camera lens. It is expensive. It's a 50 millimeter fixed focal and it's around in the $1,000 range, at least in Canada. So I just wanted to tell you that it is a great lens. It's worth every penny and it outshines a lot of other lenses out there. Because I worked with JP on this one, he was my flash expert. It just, this photo shoot made me realize the utility of having other people on a shoot again. Yeah. JP has worked on a lot of photo shoots. He knows how to install flashes and basically he's made all the mistakes. So he's at the point now where he corrects them, predicts when the mistakes are gonna come and uh, that was a lot of the consultation I got from him. He was telling me, well, don't shoot, don't put the flash in this spot. Uh, you're shooting jewelry, so we tried to get a big uh, uh, softbox on top to be able to shoot on the shoulders to cut her out. There's a lot of stuff I didn't know, and just having another head there uh, helping me out with new ideas and new ways of looking at things was greatly appreciated. Another thing is just more hands, more people there. As long as they have a great attitude and want to work with you and want to make your work shine, there's nothing better. It's always important for a lot of other reasons to have people around uh, bringing in ideas 
The last point I want to make here is I also worked with a bit of continuous light. Uh, my history with continuous light is a bit of a love-hate relationship. I started off and bought a whole continuous lighting kit for photography and started shooting with that. I liked it, but I found the lighting relatively weak. For diverse reasons, I ended up investing into a speed light flash kit, which for diverse reasons gave me some great stuff. It's, it has its faults and it has its good points. But recently I bought a ring light and I was told that it's a great thing. And I always pop this ring light out at the end of my photo shoots now. It's part of my rule. And the reason why is because it's relatively weak, you have to open up on your aperture. If you have to open up on your aperture, it means you can get a look with low depth of field and a nice flash lighting look. Uh, what happens with flash lighting, strobe lighting, is that it forces the camera to close down a lot. So you're getting great, huge amount of depth of field, which is great because everything's in focus, but it is not always that type of look that you want to go for. So that's all I wanted to say for, for this photo shoot. We had a lot of fun. It was great. A lot of people there and everyone was just enjoying themselves. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Flickr. I'm even on LinkedIn. I'll leave the links down below. Uh, if you like what you see, just make sure you do a thumbs up at the bottom of the screen. Uh, and if you want to keep in cahoots with me, please subscribe. And don't forget everyone, keep on making something from nothing.